Our streets need to be revolutionized for bikes and pedestrians. We are looking at human-powered vehicles and we want to make sure that whatever your physical mobility, you feel safer traveling to Pine Burrows. And I feel that the city of New York has that opportunity to be the best walkable and cycling that friendly that we have in the United States of America. We're going to need a leader who will fight to make New York City the best bike and pedestrian city in the country. The real change that's happening daily uh, and in a massive way is us on the ground with micromobility and the bicycles. We need to change the city to monitor that and be accountable for that. A bike mayor would be the guy who's the bug in the mayor's ear saying, hey, mayor, fix this problem already. People have been complaining about it for years. A bike mayor should be someone who is fairly comfortable and confident navigating the administration and a lot of experience um, building bridges um, behind the scenes and working with different constituencies, uh, both public, private, and the government sector. I'm going to ask them how their experience has been walking and biking over the Brooklyn Bridge and how are we going to fix it? Because right now it's a miserable experience for everyone and it's a low-hanging fruit. There are things we can do and no one's doing them. We allow when biking infrastructure is placed is um, put in lower Manhattan, all other parts of the city, but we tend to lose focus in certain parts of Queens and certain parts of the Bronx that tend to not be part of the conversation. And I see the problems that people have to deal with, whether it's trash on the sidewalk, impeding uh, people's ability to walk anywhere on sidewalk, uh, cars parked on the sidewalks, you see that, trucks parked on the sidewalks doing their delivery. Advocacy for delivery cyclists and pedicabs, pedicabs which are forms of transportation but, um, for hire. A pedestrian mayor should advocate for more pedestrian uh, signal timings that favor pedestrians over cars, expanding curb cuts, uh, making crosswalks shorter. I've been biking every day, not recreationally, but commuting daily trips every day for about 10 years in this city, so I'm officially throwing my helmet in the ring. Oh!